This is a story from back in 1920. Don Carlo had thrown a celebration party in his mansion. The ballroom was filled with the soft glow of chandeliers and the melodious tunes of a live jazz band. Couples danced gracefully with their gowns and suits shinning. Victoria, a stunning woman in a crimson gown, stands near the bar. She locks eyes with Julian, her long-lost love, who just entered the party. Their shared glance spoke of a passionate history, of a hidden rendezvous, whispered promises, and a shared secret. But due to circumstances, Victoria was now married to the fierce Don Carlo, and she was scared that if her husband would come to know of her past, he would kill her and Julian. She was visibly nervous and scared. She was trying to hide it with the wine she was drinking, but her heart longed to meet Julian just for one moment before they could meet. A scream rippled through the crowd. Lights flickered, casting the room into brief darkness. When they returned, a man lay lifeless on the dance floor. It was Victoria's husband, Don Carlo, and beside him lay a chilling signature, a crimson rose. In the past, Julian would give a red rose to Victoria every day. Murmurs of panic and suspicion rippled through the crowd. Victoria, with her heart pounding, confronted Julian in a shadowed corner. Did you? She breathlessly asked, fearing that their shared secret led to this moment. With eyes filled with anguish, Julian whispered back, No, that was our only symbol of love, and how could I do such a thing? Entered Inspector Gray, a sharp-eyed detective holding up the rose. This is a familiar symbol from a case long ago, and that killer has been missing ever since. Suddenly, Inspector Gray's gaze settled on an unexpected figure, Clara, who was the Don's ex-wife. She was promised a rosy future with the Don, but lost her place to Victoria. She seemed visibly nervous. Realizing she was a possible suspect, Clara made a desperate dash, but the crowd swiftly encircled her. With Clara apprehended, Julian and Victoria realized that the past had come back not to haunt them, but to possibly bring them back together. Hey guys, what's up? I really hope you liked at least some bits of the movie as I really enjoyed making it. This is far from perfect, but it's a good start I would reckon. If you enjoyed this short movie and would like a breakdown of how I did it, I have broken down the entire process into 5 parts which we will go through in less than 5 minutes. And before we start, a short backstory. I once almost got fired by my previous employer as I struggled to even make margins in Microsoft Word one day, I just could not navigate through all the tools on the top bar, you know. They were too confusing. And look how times have changed. AI has empowered a regular person like me to express all my creativity and craft short movies even. This is the reason I love all these tools. Okay, let's start the timer and run through the entire process. One, I went to ChatGPT and I gave it a prompt and I asked it to help me write a short romantic murder mystery. And just like that, ChatGPT quickly gave me a script. I copied the entire script to my Apple Notes. The script written by ChatGPT was far from perfect, but it gave a very good base and framework. I then edited it based on my taste. Then I asked ChatGPT to give me a detailed screen breakdown of the entire story so that later on I could just copy these descriptions and paste them into Mid Journey to generate images for my AI movie. Step 2, I went to my Mid Journey's Discord server. I copy pasted each scene from ChatGPT's detailed scene breakdown and pasted it into Mid Journey and created my images step by step. As you can see here, I re-ran the images a few times until I was satisfied with what I got. Uh, sometimes Mid Journey would give me the wrong aspect ratio, so I would upscale them and uh, regenerate the images. One particular trick that uh, helped me in creating almost kind of consistent imagery is that after every prompt, I mentioned just a random seed number as you can see here. It's called seed 2 here in all the images here. Apparently, by giving it a seed, uh, Mid Journey tries to give you imagery which is consistent in style. Once all the images were created, I just upscaled them and saved them to my desktop. So just like this, I went about creating all the images in Mid Journey using the same process. It took some time and a lot of reruns, 
of course you can try all the free bit journey alternatives available i will try that soon for another video too now on to the next step of animating all the images and the next step is to animate the images uh, created out of mid journey so the first part of my animation attempt is i went to this website called pika labs i'll leave the link of the website in the description below once you come here just uh, click on join beta to get access to their website so once you get access to the pika labs discord server this is the interface how it looks like just come here on the left left side and click on any of these generate rooms come here in this prompt box click on forward forward slash click on create and once again click on this plus one more and then this image option pops up i'll click on image drag and drop the image is created by mid journey so first i'll start with the intro shot i'll drop the image here i'll just describe the image a bit ballroom party and i'll click on enter in a few seconds pika labs will give me a rendered animation of the image and here it is you can just go to your inbox and click on mentions to your handle i'll just click on play yeah, and this looks decent so i'll just download this and save this to my desktop just like this i animated all the images created in mid journey in pika labs and downloaded them one by one onto my desktop now on to the next animation tool the next image to video animator we'll try is runway ml gen 2 i'm sure you must be aware of this website by now i'll just come here and sign in and create my free account for every new free account i think they give 150 seconds of free video per month on its one time i'm not too sure so once my free account is made i'll come here and click on generate video i'll come and click on text slash image to video then you see this prompt box I'll click on image. Uh, so it says drag and drop your image. I'll just upload an image. It'll take a short while to upload the image. Once the <coughs> image is uploaded, just come here and click on generate. And once your video is ready, you can download it. So I animated most of my images in Runway ML, and then I tried Lia Pix AI too. Lia is very easy to use, and the best part is it's completely free. So just like that, I went to Eleven Labs, selected a suitable voice. pasted the entire script generated by chatgpt which was further edited by me and created a voice over for my story the final step putting it all of it together in my editing software selecting the right music adding a few sound effects and then exporting the video if you enjoyed this video you will certainly enjoy this video which is going to come up here on the screen where we have discussed other cool ai tools to create short animated ai movies if you don't have time right now Save this for later as no video is more important than your time. I will continue to try to make more such videos which will help us in our shared journey of self improvement and how we can leverage the power of AI. Thank you and see you in the next video.